the SIG X Compact. So if you guys liked you see today, I went from Hunt, Fish, Shoot, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. If you really like it, and you want to help out the channel a little bit, hit that thank you button. For myself, for the last about year and a half, I've been carrying a Glock 48 pretty much predominantly as my concealed carry weapon off duty. I did carry a Staccato C2 Duo for a little while. The problem with that is I just found it was quite a bit different than my standard duty weapon that I had been carrying. And so I wanted to go with something that I carry on a daily basis essentially, and that is the SIG P320. This model is the X Compact, and with the X Compact, you get a shorter barrel and a shorter grip compared to your standard carry size. 320 which is what I carry for duty usage so you have a 3.6 inch barrel on here and then you do lose two rounds on your magazine which not really a problem in my opinion because like I said it's only two rounds so it's not the end of the world you're still getting 15 rounds total capacity here with the compact version of the X compact here from SIG and then with that too the grip on here is for a compact gun is pretty much perfect in my opinion um, SIGs are not let's say my most favorite gun to shoot because of their high bore axis. But what SIG does really well with the compacts or the X5 or the X grips is they're really, really well fitted for the hand. They put a very nice undercut underneath the trigger guard. The, the stippling or texture that they use is just right. Sometimes I wish it was a little bit more, but then they do put a little bit of an extended beaver tail on there. Uh, it's not a whole lot more, but it's enough that you can get a nice high grip and not have to worry about slide bite, which I've never had that issue using the 320 line itself. So all that stuff on there is nice. It does have ambidextrous uh, slide release or slide lever there. And then it has their standard takedown stuff like a 320 does where you don't have to pull the trigger. You just rotate it and then release the slide. On here though, with the X Compact, is that you have, it's already cut for an optic. It's made to be cut for a Delta Point or the Sig Romeo. I have not put anything on here yet. Uh, in the future, I do have intentions to put a red dot on it. Uh, Part of the reason I'm not like overly concerned with putting one on here is because on my duty weapon, I'm not granted the opportunity to have a red dot on my gun. So the sights that are on here are your X-ray three dots. So it's very similar to what I have and use on a daily basis. And that's everything that I was going for with this was something I can conceal easily, wear comfortably all the time and not have an issue. Like I said, that staccato was rather large really when you're thinking about actually carrying it every single day. Um, and for myself off duty, I literally carry a gun everywhere I go, every single time. Uh, being a police officer, you're granted the ability to carry a gun pretty much everywhere you want to go in every single state and have reciprocity and all that stuff as long as you got your ID and your badge. And you're not really granted that as a concealed carry. You know, yeah, you can do it and there's some legalities and things that come to it, but the freedoms that I'm given because I'm a police officer make it so I carry literally everywhere I go. And some people, they don't do that. And really, in my experience with people I've come into contact with and stuff like that, a large majority of concealed carry permit holders who say they have the permit don't actually carry their gun uh, and a lot of them barely carry it at all in fact uh, i've run into a lot of folks that just don't carry their guns even though they have the permit so like i said for me i wanted something i can conceal every day carry it easily i did mount a streamlight tlr 7a on here this is the flex one so you can actually put the lower switch on here which i think i'm going to end up doing because this one seems like a little bit touch high for me when you're going into the trigger guard and stuff like that and i'm not a huge fan of that i'd rather have it be a little bit lower but nice size picatinny rail on there you can actually fit an hl1 on here but again not doing that and then let's go back to the red dot real quick in time I think I'm going to end up using this gun as a host for the new SIG uh, Romeo 2 that's supposed to come out. Obviously they have the Romeo 1. The Romeo 2 is supposed to be a little bit more of a durable option to put on here for a red dot. And then actually with that sight is what SIG's saying is that the, it has an iron sight built into it so you can use your standard sights on your SIG weapons. So I'm probably going to give that a try. And you know, it's supposed to have better battery life, it uses a CR1 or a 230 and it goes right in the side of the site itself so overall i'm gonna shoot this gun a bunch today i'm gonna to draw from the holster and speaking of the holster i'm using a tenacore serum lux and this one actually can fit a multitude of different lights and in fact what's awesome about it is if i don't want to carry the light on my firearm i don't have to the holster will still work just fine i have tested it and i recently upgraded my belt 
And I do, it seems like when you carry every day, you can get about a year to a year and a half out of a, a good belt. And some of them are a little bit different, just depends. I've tried it, 511 ones, and uh, I had a Nex belt, which was the base of the clicker, and adjustable, really, really comfortable belt. I noticed so it was starting to get weak on me, uh, and it was actually starting to pinch my skin because the buckle itself was starting to separate. It, it hurt like hell. So now I'm carrying a Wilder Tactical uh, Minimalist EDC belt, which really nice about it is you can rotate all the way around because the buckle the cover buckle that's on it is really small so it's a really really nice feature so let's shoot this gun today and i'm going to evaluate it again as a carry gun for myself during our firing sequences today i'm always going to start them drawing from my holster because i want to get my reps in with a new gun i'm going to be using for carry So I'm seeing it exactly the reason that I've decided to go with the X compact for myself for a carry gun. I frankly don't know why I didn't do it earlier to put myself at that advantage is that I have a lot of practice shooting my other 320. And with this, it, it literally shoots nearly identical. I'm shooting it well to start with, having never shot this before or any of these before. Uh, and that's, that's really what I was looking for is that ultimately I can practice with a gun that's very similar to what I have to carry for duty use and then carry it and just, the overall similarity between the two puts me at an advantage for myself, and I really like what I'm seeing. So far for me, this SIG X Compact, for the size that this thing is and how it fits, it's a little bit smaller than a Glock 19. In fact, it's when I compare it to my 48, it's just a little bit thicker. And obviously my 48, I was carrying those Shield Arms mags, and that's a really sweet setup. I just sometimes you wanna try something different. And for me, it's nice that I'm able to get something that's very similar to a duty weapon I carry, and then carry it off duty with this, and it shoots so darn well. So let's shoot some more. We're gonna set draw stroke a little bit more here on this one, and shoot some steel. It, yeah, I really, this SIG X Compact is a really, really sweet shooter. Everything about it with the grip and everything like that is good. Recoil and all that stuff is nice. Practice, practice, practice is all I have to really say about really shooting your handguns in general because it really helps you whether you see your deficiencies or you start building on the skills that you do have and you got to practice. It really helps you when you're mitigating recoil especially and that's what I've seen already since I've had so many rounds through a 320 to start with. And this X compact though, and a compact gun, it shoots just as good as you know, your 19, your CZ P10S, and you know, your Smith & Wesson MMP2 compact, all those out there. And you know, obviously you guys saw us shoot the Canic, Elite SC, and then also the Springfield's XDM Elite Compact 3.8. And all of them, this thing shoots just as good as those. And some of them, for me, I like it better. So, so far today, uh, I've shot about 250 rounds now out of my X compact been utterly reliable, absolutely nothing to make me think it's not going to be. My recommendation for anybody that's gonna carry a gun for defensive purposes is buy two boxes of defensive ammo, shoot one box. I know it's painful, but you're carrying a gun to protect your life or somebody else's life, so shoot that. So what I've got here 
is some old ammo out of my Glock 48 that I have been carrying around for about the last year. Defensive ammo, this is gonna be Winchester Ranger. I'm fortunate enough that I'm able to buy this stuff with the law enforcement credentials, but it's really good ammo. Your Hornady stuff's good. There's a lot of good defensive ammo out there. So this is 147 grain T-Series Ranger uh, Winchester ammo. So again, I'm gonna shoot this, it's about 40 rounds. We're gonna burn through it and see how the gun does. There, malfunction. That's two. It's no bueno. All right. So, whether or not that's the gun or not, that's hard to say. That ammo is about a year old. I had 10 rounds in there that went for a swim on my 365 ankle gun a couple weeks back and I replaced them. It could be the ammo and it could be the gun. I'm gonna painfully now load 30 more rounds of Winchester Ranger ammo in here that's brand new, run it through there, make sure we don't have any issues. I have two fully loaded 15 round magazines, brand new Winchester Ranger ammo. I'm gonna shoot it through here and let's hope we don't have any issues. I don't know, again, it's hard to say, You know, it could be the ammo and it could be the gun. So we're gonna shoot it here, we're gonna see I would rationally believe it's ammo, but I mean, I've never had my Glock 48 ever malfunction, no matter what I put through it. And it could be the crappiest ammo in America and that thing just shoots, you know, and I haven't had any issues with my duty weapon and this one, you know, we're gonna find out. So let's see what happens. That's what we like to see. Much better. Judging by the ejections I was seeing on there, very, very strong ejections. I'm guessing because I had one that really didn't run the slide hard enough on the malfunctions I did have, so basically a stove pipe. Uh, and then the other one was, it did, literally did pull the, you know, basically shoot the slide back to eject the round whatsoever. So I'm guessing I had two bad rounds in there is what I'm thinking. I'll shoot more myself, but so far this gun after that and what I've seen, I'm thinking that's the ammo. Could it be the gun 100%? And that's why when I tell you guys, if you're gonna carry a gun for duty, concealed carry, home defense, whatever it might be, test it, test it, and test it some more so you know that this gun you could trust your life on. So this one's gonna get tested a little bit more by me. I think it's gonna live up to what I need. And for me, this will most likely be my next carry weapon, the SIG X Compact. So if you guys like what you saw today from Hunt, Fish, Shoot, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. If you really like it and you want to help out the channel a little bit, hit that thank you button.